All right, our next step is to now take the sketch to cut it out and get it transferred onto our piece of linoleum, okay? Um, on your linoleum, you guys are gonna be getting not regular Sharpies, but other black markers. They're not the best, but they're the only ones that work on this surface. If I give you Sharpies to use on here, the Sharpies will die in about, I don't know, five minutes. They're, I don't know why, they just don't like this linoleum surface. So I'm gonna put my name on the side of this, my name and room number. So first name, last name, room number on the side there. I'm gonna take my favorite one and I'm gonna cut it out very, very carefully. You don't wanna cut off any part of your design. that aside now this next part's just a little bit messy so I'm gonna flip over my design on the back and I am going to use the side of a pencil do not use a mechanical pencil it will not work um, I mean it will but just like not very well and uh, you want to use the side of your pencil to just kind of color this add some graphite to the back if you end up getting some pencil on the table, it's not that big of a deal. Please just do not do that on purpose. If you're not sure if it's dark enough, it's probably not dark enough. Add more. If you don't have enough graphite on here, it will not transfer. All right, once you have enough graphite on the back of your design, you can then take your piece of linoleum and we're gonna be taping it down on there. Now, you don't wanna like smear it around on there because this graphite will smear all over it and it'll make your surface like really confusing to look at. I will give you guys a piece of scotch tape. You wanna set it half on, half off the top edge. The sticky side is facing down because it's stuck to the piece of paper. I'm gonna very carefully align my sketch to my piece of linoleum, and I'm going to bring the sticky side around the side. Now, not gonna lie, this material, this linoleum, does not like to have stuff stuck to it. So if it comes right back up, don't be surprised, but we wanna try to keep these two in place as is. So I'm very carefully gonna set it back down, keeping it aligned. I'm gonna take my pencil, you don't wanna push too hard, but you do wanna go over all of your lines. If you need to go over top of the tape, that's fine. Pretend like the tape isn't even there at this point, okay? So mine's stuck on there. I am now going to carefully trace over all of my lines of my design. And I can do a little peek and see. Now, it's not perfect but you're just gonna get a very, very slight image. Do you see the outline of my leaf? It's very difficult to see, but I can see it. It's right there. All you need to be able to do is see just a little hint of it on here. That's all we're gonna be able to get. But it's better than having nothing on here at all. All right, so I think I traced over all of my lines, so I'm gonna lift this up, and then you can see how much I can see my design. Is it perfectly clear? No, don't expect it to be perfectly clear. At least I have an idea, like a hint of the idea on there. That's all that we're really gonna get. Okay, so I'm gonna take this off now. Okay, I suggest you guys keep these in your folders, um, or actually even for right now, uh, keep it in front of you so you can see if you missed anything you can add it back in And at this point, I'm gonna go with that marker again. It says blick on the side and I'm going to try to trace over my design All right, so I'm just gonna double check, did I get everything? I got the eyes, all, okay, I got all the details on there. You wanna make sure you do that. And then um, we're gonna label where the positive and negative spaces are gonna be, just like you did on the sketch paper. Just keep these really small so that they're not taking over your project.
And this is why you want to hang on to this little sketch paper because just in case you forgot to write anything down from this onto this, um, you wanna make sure you hang on to it. I'm actually gonna write my name on it. So since it's so small, in case I lose track of it, I still have it. And now we're ready to start talking about the cutting tools.